Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk just a little about tile. And I realize that we've talked about drain tile on Ag PhD many times before. But what I wanted to focus on today is how does water exactly get into tile? If you're a non-farmer, we think this is important to understand. And if you're a farmer, you've got to understand this. So let's go through it, Darren. Well, here's one reason you want to understand it. Even if you're a non-farmer, maybe you're a homeowner. If you are, chances are you have drainage tile running right outside your foundation. Well, where does that water go? It gets into that tile line. It runs right into your sump pump, and then you pump it back out. And that's what you do. It's you the think same. about how it gets into that line is important. Yeah, it's the same stuff around the house as what we deal with out in the field. It's just, we're kind of on a little uh, bigger level out here in the field. Well, even right behind us, there is some drain tile down in some of the low areas. And what a lot of people believe is that when you get rain, that rainwater is going to go right into the tile line. Right, Darren? Well, it doesn't exactly <laughs> work that way. Well, like, but take this year, for example. We were bone dry this fall, and we got a little bit of moisture in the fall. Not very much, but we got a little bit. And what happened to it? Well, it soaked in. But did our tile lines run? No. Not at all. No. Didn't even start running. That's right, because the only way that tile lines run is if the water table, the ground water table, is above the level of the tile line. So for example, out in fields we commonly put in the drain tile at three feet deep. We do that because we just want to have roughly two and a half to three feet of good area for roots to grow. That's really about all we need to raise a great crop. Okay, so we put the tile lines in at three feet deep. As long as the water table is below three feet, then the tile lines never run. So in a drought year like this year, everybody says, oh, those tile lines have to hurt you in a drought year. They're going to take out all your moisture. No, they didn't even run because the water table was below the level of the tile line. And the way that water is going to get into the tile line is when that water table rises, then as soon as it gets up to above the level of the tile line, you'll actually see water water coming in where the water starts seeping in from underneath. It's the pressure of that water that's pushing against that pipe and it starts pushing the water in from the bottom rather than dropping in from the top every time it rains. Well, that is a little bit unusual, Brian. Not exactly what you would think. Now, when we talk about the tile, there are actually different size holes that you can put on depending on what type of soil that you're in. You could also put a sock over that hole if you're worried about soil falling in as the water moves into the tile line. There's a number of different styles of drainage tile. It, the water's still going to get in the same way regardless of which style you have. Yep, so the most important thing we wanted you to get out of all this is just to know that wherever you place that tile, I don't care if it's around your house or out in your field, unless the water table is above that level, your tile line is not going to run. So for example, let's just talk about around the house real quick. If you put your tile line up relatively high, let's say uh, your basement is down eight feet in the ground and you put your tile at, let's call it five feet in the ground, well, you actually could have the water table at six feet and it could probably be entering your house and you wouldn't be doing anything. You'd say, oh, my sump pump's not running. How can water still be getting in here? Well, it's elementary because the water table is not up to the level of the tile line. You have to make sure you set your tile line at the level you want the water table to be, at the maximum level you want the water table to be. Well, you certainly can control that water table level in your fields or around your home, but can you control this week's weed? We'll show you how to do it later in the show.